Game on. Are you ready to take the challenge to become the Riddle Master? Riddle number one. How is it possible to throw a ball with all your might and catch it again without it hitting anything in between? Think in three. Two. One. Time's up. The answer, well, you just need to throw the ball straight up into the air. Easy, right? Riddle number two. My life is measured by hours. And I am of service to you by expiring. I'm fast when I'm thin, but slow when I'm fat. The wind is my opponent. Any idea who am I? Think in three. Two. One. Time's up. The answer is a candle. The riddle describes a candle and its characteristics related to burning, size, and vulnerability to the wind. Riddle number three. What sneaks up in the middle of March and April, but goes ghostly at the beginning and end of both months? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is letter R. It sneaks into the middle, leaving the book ends untouched. Riddle number four. You spot a boat packed with people, but as soon as you take another look, there isn't a single person in sight. Can you solve the mystery? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is all of them are married. A clever twist, isn't it? Riddle number five. Now, let's dive into the world of sound. What is the word that vanishes the moment you mention it? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is silence. Riddle number six. With a range of emotions and expressions, I'm usually right at your fingertips. Can you guess what I am? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is emoji. Can you feel all the emotions? Halfway there, are your brains still up for the challenge? Do not forget to hit the bell button and be notified with our newest riddles. Riddle number seven. Adam is the brother of Ben. Ben is the brother of Caden. Caden is the father of Den. So how is Den related to Adam? Take a moment, let the riddles sink in. Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is that Adam is Din's uncle. Did you get the answer right? Now, riddle number eight. I am as tough as steel, yet I had many holes. What am I? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is a chain. It is a tough one, right? Riddle number nine. How can you spell cow using 13 letters? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is C-O-W. Did you expect that? Riddle number 10. What is the longest word in the dictionary? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is smiles, because there is a mile between each S. Riddle number 11. I have a cat's head and cat's feet, but trust me, 
I'm not a cat. What am I? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. I am a cutie furry kitten. Are you still in the game? Hang on tight, we're almost there. Riddle number 12. What appears at nighttime without an invitation and disappears during the day without being stolen? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is stars. They become visible in the sky as the sun sets and darkens. During the day, the sun's brightness overwhelms the star's faint light, making them invisible. Riddle number 13. Mercury, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are my favorite spots, but don't even bother searching for me on Neptune or Venus. What am I? Think in three. Two. One. Time's up. The answer is letter R. Now, down to our last two riddles. Riddle number 14. What is it that nobody wants, yet nobody wants to lose? Think in three. Two. One. Time's up. The answer is a lawsuit. A lawsuit is like that unwanted guest at a party, that nobody invited, but once it arrives, nobody wants to see it leave either because losing it could mean dealing with an even bigger mess. Now, for the final brain teaser. Give it all you've got to win the coveted title of Riddle Master. Riddle number 15. Who's the youngest on a bus with a 30-year-old father? a 28-year-old pregnant lady, a 45-year-old driver, and a 15-year-old student? Think in three, two, one. Time's up. The answer is that tiny bean growing inside the mommy's belly. And there you have it Riddle Masters. We trust these have left you feeling both amused and intellectually stimulated. And we encourage you to share them with your friends to challenge their riddle-solving skills. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until next time, keep the curiosity alive and the laughter flowing.